know and Lot knows that at the end of the day, you are going to be there to give, supply, and provide whatever they are asking you for. Do I have anyone here on this second Sunday in February who will co-sign with me when I say this? No one can pluck your nerves in the key of C like Lot. If we are to be the light in our families, then there will be times when we must embrace the situations and circumstances our loved ones find themselves in. Amen, interveners. <laughs> Whether we like it or not, y'all not feeling this family stuff, are you? No matter how much we counsel them before they made their decision, if their decision comes back on them and takes them hostage, we must assume the responsibility of jumping in. Why? I'm glad you asked. Because God does the same for us every day. My God, have I got a witness in this room? Let me check the room for a second. Is there anybody here and you, and you are helping family members maneuver through some stuff uh, that they got themselves into. Uh, you told them their finances uh, couldn't support the purchase, uh, but they decided uh, to make the purchase anyway. Uh, and now uh, your finances are requested uh, and your finances are needed uh, to help them keep the purchase. Uh, you told them uh, to leave the ugly relationship they were in, uh, but they wouldn't listen. Uh, that's their boo. Uh, that's their pay. Uh, but I Two o'clock in the morning, uh, argument got out of hand, Judy, uh, and Popo came over to the house uh, and made some arrest. Uh, and now uh, you've got to get out of your warm bed uh, and go downtown uh, and put up bail money. Uh, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, is there anybody here uh, that's rescued Lot uh, at three o'clock in the morning? The intervener doesn't get to pick and choose their availability. I know that's rough right there. The intervener doesn't get to decide what's an emergency and what's not. The intervener knows that they are put in this position because when no one else will come to the rescue, the intervener will. Abram doesn't ask Lot's messenger, what you telling me for? Lot was the one who wanted to go live over there. And now Lot is going to have to deal with this mess all by himself. Preach, man. But I want to drop this nugget in someone's spirit today. Is there anybody here who isn't too saved and sanctified to remember a time or times when someone jumped in to your nasty mess? My God, don't you go getting so super spiritual on me that you develop spiritual amnesia. I said, is there anybody here who can remember a time when someone jumped all in to your ugly mess? Family Abram didn't tell the men gathered with him this boy is always causing me grief. I ain't even his daddy. He's always got his hands out. I've always got to get involved in Lot's mess. How many of you know that complaining about the place a loved one finds them in is not going to change the place they're in? Some real folk today uh, who can still vividly remember when the family jumped in to help you in battle, Rebecca, it wasn't looking good for you at first. You were outnumbered and the enemy was preparing to put something on you. But then off in the distance, you saw your brothers and your sisters, your cousins and they, am I in the right place? Okay, all right. All right. One, two, three. I, I thought this would work yesterday. Uh, let me say it again. You were outnumbered, uh, and then you saw off in a distance uh, your brothers and sisters, uh, your cousins and them, uh, coming to your rescue. Uh, and family, I want to tell you, uh, you felt something rise up. Uh, and you said, if it's going down, uh, it's going down uh, with my family. Uh, you started sounding uh, like Sister Sledge. Uh, we are family. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
Hey family, that's what I'm trying to say today. There will be times, my God, when we have to act and respond to the needs of our loved ones. For the Bible says in Philippians 2 and 4, don't look out only for your own interest, but take an interest in others too. We can't be scared to go to the crack house. I know you ain't got nobody residing there. I'm talking about other folk. We can't be scared to go to the crack house. We can't be scared to pull them off the corner. We can't be scared to go to the prison. We can't be scared to sit with them, to be with them, and to love them through whatever they're going through. We can't be scared of what others might say. And we can't be so scared or concerned that our fear renders us helpless to rescue them. But rather, we must trust and believe that God will give us the courage to do whatever needs to be done. We must have faith in God enough to believe that God will see us through. Hebrew wasn't in no SUV. Somebody gonna talk to me right now. Uh, Abram didn't go Greyhound, y'all. Dr. Woods, he didn't have a Winnebago. He didn't, he didn't have any. He, he had whatever he had. And whatever he had didn't have a motor. 